tutorial I'll show you how to use Modeler and Chimera to perform homology modeling. Alright, Modeler can be found at this website. You may want to Google it or look on Canvas on, for the particular link. Um, Modeler, Modeler is um, non-graphical uh, software that can use your sequence and it will align the sequence of the template with your sequence and then build the three-dimensional model of your protein. The process looks like this. You have your uh, target sequence, then we are searching for the st uh, structure of templates. We perform the alignment between the target and the template and a modeler will take care of the uh, model generation. This is the process here. If you are more curious how this looks like in detail, I refer you to the modeler website. Since this is homology modeling, uh, comparative homology modeling, you can see that the more precise, the, the more sequence identity you have between your sequence and your um, template, the better the results. So if you have, let's say, around 80% or even 60%, you get very nice structure overlap of the final uh, produced model. Once we are ready with our uh, sequence, we are going to go to Tools, Sequence, and Blast Protein. Now the new Dialogs opens and you can select from structure or plain text. Since we are going to work from the scratch, we are going to use the uh, plain text option. So paste your sequence in here, and the sequence will be checked for models and will be checked for sequence uh, uh, similarities um, from PDB database. So everything else is set by default, and we're going to click OK. This is queried, and here are the results. You can do a couple of options here. You can um, click on particular um, retrieved model. Um, you can either show it in the multi-alignment window, you can load the structure just, just to look at it, or you can go to a PDB uh, site, or you can uh, export um, the complete table into, um, let's say, a comma-separated value file. All right, now one has to be careful about uh, choosing the template because the NMR uh, solve structure will produce you the ensemble. And ensemble are not good for modeling. You have to create an average structure of that and then use it manually. So for simplicity of the um, this task right now, we're going to just choose the crystallographic structure. Okay, you can select either one uh, template or many templates here. I will select, let's say, um, template that it's not that similar. Um, I, may, I want to make sure that this is crystal structure. Okay, so I will select this one. Um, this one has a score of 67. This is not the best score. You want to always select uh, the highest score possible. But I would like to show you just how it, uh, how it works when you have not so great um, similarity. Okay, once you select your um, template, you are going to click Show in Multi-Alignment window. And this is our model. So the conservation here, it's as you can see here. Now, if you want to launch the actual homology modeling um, modeler, you go to Structure, select Modeler. And right now, you can see in this panel that this model that I've chosen has 57% of similarity, sequence similarity. Um, that's acceptable and it will work just fine. But uh, to have very detailed very precise results of your homology modeling, you want this to be as close as uh, possible to 100%. Okay, 
Um, Modeler can be run either uh, via web service or can be run locally. Um, regardless of the, uh, the method used, you have to apply for a model license key. Once you have a license key, uh, you are going to insert that in this uh, uh, window and you're ready to set up advanced options. The specified uh, number of models are shown here. I, uh, I want to make just three models for now. Maximum is a thousand. And I want to build the models using also hydrogens. And I have to specify the temporary folder for my calculations. And once I'm ready, I will click OK. If you ever use the modeler in your presentation or your um, research purposes, you have to cite it. Here is the um, publication. If you click that, you go to PubMed and you can get all the uh, citation details. All right. Once we are ready, we click OK and our simulation starts. So right now, what is happening is that um, Chimera fetched the model and it's computing uh, the results. You can see the progress is shown here, 20%. It will take a little bit of time, typically a couple of minutes, depending on, on how complicated your model is and how many um, model you would like to, you want to build. All right, so our model has been generated. We can see our results here. Another um, dialog opens, and here you have your your models, model one, two, and three. Now, um, here are some uh, scoring parameters. If you are interested um, in what it exactly means, I refer you to a help file or the modeler website when, where everything is explained. In general, the um, lower the, the score, the better um, the model is. And you can go through each model and you can analyze how a particular model looks like. Now you will see that in your model panel window the models have appeared here and you can basically see all of them at the same time. You can color them once you build your model, your job is done, and you can select on the model and save the PDB. So this is how you model using uh, Modeler and Chimera. Okay, sometimes you see PDB models which have this dashed line. So what it means is that the actual structure is not known of this model, like here and here. Why? Because when it was solved, the electron density did not allow for uh, proper model generation. And that's why this was omitted from the um, uh, model that has been uh, generated or solved. Okay, let's take a look at the sequence of, of that. So. See here, this is a chimase um, model, and all these uh, highlighted regions here are the parts that are missing. And you can use Chimera and Modeler to model the existing, um, uh, the existing loop or loops or fragments that need to, needs to be remodeled. Okay, so let's do that. You can start Modeler by going into the structure and modeler loops refinement and what uh, will be shown here um, it will model the missing region so let's do all missing structure for this model that's shown here and i want to generate only one model the best one and we're gonna run modeler uh, using web service. Okay, everything says um, uh, stays uh, a default. And let's click OK. So in a moment you will see the software progressing. In a moment you will see the result 
the resulting model built using loop refinement protocol from Modeller. All right, so model has been computed. You will see the results. So my model that has been generated, it's in blue and everything. Um, and my uh, original uh, model is in uh, uh, this bash. Okay, so you can see pretty much everything aligns except that we have now a nice model of the loops that have been modeled using Modeller. So this shows you the flexibility and the application of Modeller in uh, fixing uh, missing parts of the structures. Now you can see here in the model panel that this model can be saved and PDB can be used for further analysis or modeling.